low opinion is here. Another video. You know, all is well. Ah, topic of this video is Garrett Jackson gets divorced. Before I get into this topic, I want to let y'all know this channel is all about helping both men and women do the best way to be in all aspects of their lives. Health, wealth, dating, relationship, and the mindset. So I appreciate y'all being here. New people, uh, welcome. Returning people, welcome. I appreciate y'all being here. If you have not already done so, definitely hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload some new videos. Like the video, helps out with the algorithm. And if you just want to like the video to support me, cool. Appreciate that too. Definitely um, share the video so we can get this information and this video out so more people could use it. So we can make the world a better place for us and our future generations. All right. So let us get into this topic. Derek Jackson, uh, le recently it came out that he got divorced. Um, you know, so I just want to put my two cents on it. Of course, I'm going to talk about four parts to this whole thing and then the bonus at the end, which is going to encapsulate everything like it always does. So definitely want to stay to the end for the bonus. It's going to be very powerful. I'm going to link a video here at some point. Um, when it comes to uh, the whole situation, not my video, but somebody else's video, when it comes to the whole situation. So um, definitely look out for that. <clears throat> but yeah, so this is very powerful because a lot of men could use to learn from the situation. And you know, a lot of men have to learn from the situation because uh, it could be you. You never know, it could be you. So that's the reason I'm gonna get into this. So. Let's get this topic started. So yes, first and foremost, uh, Derek Jackson says he got divorced earlier this year. Who knows? I don't know. He says he did. You got to take him for his word. I don't know. Um, it is one of those things where it's like, it's very convenient to say after he got spotted, well, you know, some things happened. Where it seems like he is possibly cheating. Um, you know, he got spotted with uh, another woman. And then all of a sudden he claims he's been divorced. And he got divorced earlier this year. Who knows? But, you know, it is very convenient for him. Um, and it really doesn't matter when he got divorced. Um, I don't know. I guess men are a little different. You know, they kind of, some men, they move on a little quicker. Some women, you know, they take a little time. Some women move on a little quicker. Some men take a little time. And according to him, he filed for the divorce. If you look at his Instagram post, I believe it was, he filed for the divorce. So, and that makes a lot of sense with everything that went on last year. <laughs> and him being, you know, caught and exposed for cheating. So, you know, that's all on him. He filed you know, usually it's the, the wife who files, but he filed, so. Um, could have been earlier last year, earlier this year, could have been rec more recently, who knows. Number two, yeah, like I just mentioned, he, he's been seen out with other women. So he's been seen out with other women. And that was the picture I actually saw here a couple of days ago. Um, and that's pretty powerful. Again, and it looks like the same woman he was with who got who exposed him for cheating last year. Um, and apparently there's other women, but that was the main one who came out, made a video. And here he is again with that same woman. So you could connect the dots. Um, but yeah, I've seen only one video, one picture of him out with another woman, and that was the woman. So it's very ironic that it's the same woman who made a video last year about what they did together, her and Derek Jackson. Um, and now he's spotted with her again. So go figure. Number three, <clears throat> he may have cheated again. He's out with the same woman who he who exposed him for cheating last year and who he also you know, he admitted to seeing last year and cheating on his wife with last year. So, 
you know, again, we're going to connect the dots. You know, nobody's dumb. You know, even it could be convenient where he divorced his wife earlier this year. And then he started seeing that girl again. But it's very unlikely that even if that's true, it's very unlikely they didn't have communication in between him divorcing or him um, before getting a divorce and then after getting a divorce. It's very unlikely they didn't have any communication. Very highly unlikely. You know, so uh, that's very powerful. Um, and people got to understand, you know, men, even if they have somebody in the back pocket, they either got the information ahead of time or during the relationship. You know, and more than likely, from what he said before, he got the information uh, during the relationship. You know, so it is one of those things where you just like, hey, you know, you connect the dots. Some people have different definitions of cheating. Some people's definition of cheating is anything that you would do with your partner that you um, wouldn't want them to know about. Some Sometimes communicating, you obviously, people hide that stuff. You don't want your partner to know about that sometimes if it's not platonic or if it's not uh, innocent. So that's pretty big, and I believe that's more than likely what he was probably doing. He probably didn't have sexual intercourse with the girl, but maybe he did. You know what I mean? They seem so buddy-buddy and so close. Maybe he did. I don't know, but because apparently he's he's been fumbling. All over the uh, from from before last year when he was exposed, he's been fumbling. So who knows? But um, you know, maybe he did have sex with the girl while he was he going through the divorce or before he got divorced. Again, maybe he didn't. Maybe they were just in communication. I don't know, but it's just um, very strange that they uh, got back together after they got divorced. Is what it is. But I appreciate it, y'all being here. Thank y'all for uh, making it this far into the video. Definitely, if you haven't already, subscribe, hit that notification button, like the video if you're liking the video, leave a comment, and let me know what you're liking and disliking the video. Respectfully, share the video so you get this information for more people to use this information so we can make this world a better place for us and our future generations. All right? So yes, he seems, number four thing I picked up here, he seems like a hypocrite. He can never talk about what's good for women and what's bad for men and all this stuff in relationships after all this. He can't. Nobody will, no self-respecting person will trust what he says or do what he says because he doesn't practice what he preaches. And because he doesn't practice what he preaches, people will not respect words. Actions always speak louder than words, and his actions are saying something than his words. You know, he's the bad guy that he talks about all these other guys being. So, it's, it won't work. Of course, you may have people who don't really respect themselves, who don't who don't mind being lied to, who don't mind throwing money at him, who will trust what he says and buy stuff and all that. Outside of that, you know, majority of people, they're not gonna trust him because he's a hypocrite he seems like a hypocrite you know what i mean so that's his his deal you know what i mean there's ways he can make some money but he's gonna have to change his path you know he definitely have to change his path i appreciate y'all making it to the end of the year we got the bonus the big old bonus and a big old bonus you know put everything together ultimately when it comes to him and his ex-wife they didn't grow together he was wanted to live the superstar lifestyle. She wanted to live the normal body lifestyle, and it just didn't. It just didn't work. It'd be like that sometimes, you know what I mean? It'd be like that, but ultimately, um, you know, he should have been able to handle everything before it got to where well, I assume communicated properly or what he wanted. Obviously, uh, they knew each other in high school. Um, he probably, I mean, yeah. When you know each other for over, you know, five years, people change. But he maybe he did communicate what he wanted and she just wasn't willing to do it. And if that's the case, cool. But you divorce before you go out. You don't cheat and then divorce. But she didn't want a divorce for whatever reason. So um, it is what it is. But 
that's, that's all I got for y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for making it to the end of the video. Definitely like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button, share the video. Let's get this man from this video out to more people using information to make this world a better place for us and our future generations. Uh, let me know what you liked or disliked about the video and my little list there, respectfully, of course. Uh, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. I make this channel for you guys, but the channel is for you, so I want to know what you want to talk about. All right? Um, donations are always very much appreciated. They help keep me motivated. They help inspire me. They help me bring higher quality videos. So definitely donate. Find value in the video. Of course, last but not least, I hope to see y'all next week. Y'all stay safe. And always remember, the strongest person is the happiest person.